Welcome back to our virtual ocean adventure. In this video, we're diving deeper into the depths of the ocean. Animals living here have spent millions of years adapting to their environment. Welcome to the deep ocean. Let's remind ourselves of the ocean layers. We've explored lots of these already. In this video, we're starting in the midnight zone and then heading into the abyss and the trenches. The Midnight Zone environment is a unique ecosystem. The combination of high water pressure, low temperatures and total darkness mean that there is nowhere else like it on Earth. Animals living here, such as the anglerfish and jellyfish, have spent millions of years adapting to their environment. The Abyss. This layer contains three quarters of the ocean bed. It is pitch black and reaches chilling temperatures of zero degrees Celsius. Very few creatures live here, but those that do are transparent, blind invertebrates such as sea stars, amphipods and squid. The deepest part of an ocean are the trenches. Humans can only travel to ocean trenches using special types of submarines called submersibles. Animals found here include sea cucumbers, lipperid fish and jellyfish. The deep ocean provides fascinating examples of the adaptations that animals make in order to survive. It's so dark down there, so many creatures in the midnight zone and beyond are bioluminescent. This means light is produced by a chemical process inside a living organism. The glow of light occurs when a chemical called luciferin reacts with oxygen. This releases energy and light is emitted. So how does this happen? To glow on a regular basis, an organism needs to keep bringing a fresh supply of luciferin into its body. Some get it through their diet, but other organisms can produce their own luciferin. Why do they do this? Animals use their bioluminescence to attract mates or to detect and lure their prey. The anglerfish dangles a glowing lure in front of its mouth. It can then eat any prey that swims up to check out the mysterious light. How much of the deep ocean have we explored? Let's investigate this. It may seem extraordinary, but humans have more detailed and researched maps of the moon's surface than they do of the ocean floor. More people have been into space than have been into the deep ocean. 80% of the deep ocean still remains unexplored. So let's explore it together. What is the deepest point in the ocean? The deepest place on Earth is the Mariana Trench, a long chasm in the floor of the Western Pacific Ocean, east of the Philippines and near the Mariana Islands. It is more than 1,500 miles long and 40 miles wide. The Mariana Trench is deeper than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, is tall. Let's find out more. The deepest point in the Mariana Trench is called Challenger Deep. It was named after the British ship HMS Challenger, Sailors aboard the ship discovered the Mariana Trench in 1875. Let's look at some other expeditions there. In 1951, the HMS Challenger 2 further explored the trench. With the assistance of an echo sounder, they measured 11 kilometers down. In 1960, the first occupied submersible known as Trieste took five hours to reach the bottom of Challenger Deep. And when they saw animals swimming in the darkness, they knew life could exist in the deepest part of the ocean. In 2012, filmmaker James Cameron entered a human-occupied vehicle, HOV, called the Deep Sea Challenger. He travelled 10,098 metres down into the Mariana Trench. In 2019, Victor Vescovo, an explorer, ventured down 10,927 metres into Challenger Deep. This was the furthest anyone has gone to date. During this trip, a few new species of deep sea crustaceans were discovered, but that wasn't all they found. What do you think explorer Victor Vescovo discovered at the bottom of the trench? Was it a giant squid the size of their submersible? Was it an old diver's helmet? Perhaps it was a plastic bag? Or was it a glowing sea slug? What do you think? Yes, there at the bottom of the deepest point of the ocean was a plastic bag, evidence that human pollution really is reaching every part of our world. It's more important than ever to learn about life in the ocean because the more we know, the better we can understand and protect the oceans of the world. That's why we're so glad you're joining us on this virtual ocean adventure. 
So as we head back up to the ocean surface, let's find out what's next. Join us in the next part of our virtual ocean adventure when we'll be discovering the seabirds that rely on the ocean. Let's discover together why these birds are just as much a part of life in the ocean. And if you haven't already, don't forget to download our virtual ocean adventure resource pack. You can find the link below this video. The virtual ocean adventure was brought to you by the Twinkle Home Ed team.